Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Molecular Makeup. My name is Ashley and I'm a chemist who loves makeup and skincare. And today I'm going to be showing you 10 looks that I created using the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. And I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I'm so excited to show you the first look that's inspired by a galaxy. I'm first taking the shade Undertaker and I'm packing this all over my lid and just slightly into my crease. I'm not being very precise at this point. I just want to lay down this color as a base for other brighter colors to pop on. And this look is pretty intense, but I have plenty of looks coming that are more wearable and simple. I'm next to dipping into the shade Untouchable, and I'm placing this underneath my brow bone, just sort of um, in the area where you would place a transition shade. Next, I'm taking the shade Cremated, and I'm blending this into my crease, and I'm just focusing on blending this out, and I'm going to be blending other colors on top. I'm next taking the shade Blue Monday, and I'm just blending that over top of the Cremated shade that I put down, and blending it up and out toward the pink shade. I'm then taking that same shade on a more fluffy brush and just buffing it out, making it look more seamless. Next, taking Untouchable and blending um, underneath my brow bone again, and I love how this gave more of a purple effect. I'm going back into the shade Undertaker, and I'm putting that on my outer V, or my outer corner of my lid. And just kind of putting that to the center of my lid. Then I'm taking Ocean Ice and packing that from the center of my lid all the way to my inner corner. Then I'm taking the shade Entitled and I'm packing that right in between Ocean Ice and Undertaker. Sort of right above my pupil. Then I'm taking the shade Blue Monday again, and I'm just using a stiff brush to put that underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm taking a more fluffy brush and taking the shade Untouchable again and just buffing that out to give a more purple effect like in my crease. This step is completely optional, but I decided to add some glitter from Stila. And I just thought this really made it look even more like a galaxy, so I'm just tapping this glitter very lightly in my inner corner and also the center of my lid. Adding Collab Beauty Mascara and Jeffree Star Bullet Lipstick in Popsicle Dream. Another option is the Velour Liquid Lipstick in Sardetarius and Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. Look number two is going to be very simple. It's just a subtle pop of color. I'm taking the shade Celebrity Skin and I'm placing that into my crease and just blending it up and outward toward the arch of my brow. This look is going to be great for anyone who doesn't want too intensive a look with color but still just wants a subtle pop of color and something very wearable. Next I'm dipping into the shade Entitled. I'm spraying my brush with MAC Fix Plus and I'm packing this all over my lid. Then I'm going to create sort of a halo eye effect, and I'm using the shade Cullinan and placing that on the center of my eyelid and also into the inner corners. I'm then taking the shade Deceased, and I'm just deepening the outer V a little bit by placing that into the outer corner, and I'm just making sure that that is well blended. Then I'm just making sure that everything is well blended in my crease again. I'm dipping into the shade Entitled and running that along my lower lash line. I love using a shimmery shade on my lower lash line because I think it looks very ethereal. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil and Junkie. And then I'm also using a little bit of liquid liner and using my favorite mascara, which is the Collab Beauty Mascara. Then I'm using Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin and also um, the Bullet Lipstick in Alien Tears. And I just love how this look turned out. Look number three is inspired by scenery from Avatar. I'm first taking the shade Flourishing and I'm placing that into my crease and I'm blending that up and out toward my brow. This look is going to be more of an intense look again, but I do have more wearable and simple looks coming up. I'm using the shade Minty and then I'm placing that in the inner portion of my crease. Then I'm taking the shade I'm Cold and also placing that um, above my crease and just blending everything out with that shade. And then I'm taking a more fluffy brush just to make sure that everything is seamless and blended. I'm taking the shade Minty 
and running that underneath my um, eyebrow. Then I'm using the shade Flourishing again and I'm just deepening up the outer V or the outer corner and just really focusing on adding definition there. Next I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm doing a cut crease with this. And I don't have, I only have a couple of cut crease looks in this video, so don't worry. <laughs> but, um, so the trick I use is I place a little bit on near my lash line, then I look up to transfer it and fill it in from there. But as you can see, I'm not very good at cutting my crease. <laughs> um, so next I'm taking the shade Ocean Ice and I'm packing that all over my eyelid where I placed the concealer to cut my crease. And I'm just um, taking my time with this, um, making sure that everything is blended. And I will be blending more colors on top later, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. But I just want to make sure the color is down. I'm then taking the shade Entitled, and I'm placing that in the center of my eyelid again, just to give sort of a halo eye effect. And I just love how this looks. I really think it looks like the scenery from Avatar. I, I love how this color pops on top of the Ocean Ice shade. I just think it looks so beautiful and it looks like the bio uh, luminescence that you see in Avatar. I'm just making sure that everything is blended and I'm also adding this shade in the inner corner of my um, eye. And then I just want to lighten that up a little bit so I'm taking the shade Cullinan and placing that over top of uh, that shade in my inner corner just to brighten it a little bit and I did have a good bit of fallout so I'm just fixing that here. I'm going back into the shade flourishing and I'm just adding more definition in my crease again. I felt like because this look is so intense on the lid that I kind of lost in the intensity so I'm just adding that back. I'm going underneath my lower lash line with flourishing as well and just buffing that out. Then I'm taking the shade Ocean Ice and a more densely packed brush and I'm just running that along my lower lash line. Then I'm going back into Entitled and I'm placing that underneath my lower lash line just in the center to mimic what I have going on on my lid. I'm going back into Minty and I'm just blending everything out on my lid. I just want to make sure that everything is well blended and seamless. I'm going back into the Urban Decay uh, liner in Junkie and lining my um, waterline. Then I'm just going to do a very slight wing just on the outer edge and then I'm going back into the Collab Beauty Mascara again. And then over top of that I'm adding the Bene Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara just to intensify the look a little bit more. I'm next using the shade Sagittarius from Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick and then Alien Tears over top. And I really love how it turned out. It really does remind me of Avatar scenery and I hope you like it. Look 4 is inspired by Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. I'm mixing the shades I'm Cold and Blue Monday and I'm placing that into my crease and blending that up and out toward the arch of my brow. And I wanted to create more of a periwinkle color so that's why I mixed these two shades together. And this is going to be a very soft look and very um, wearable. But it's still very unique. I'm next taking the shade I'm Cold and I'm placing that on the inner portion of my crease. Then I'm taking the shade Blue Monday and I'm adding that on the outer V and just packing that into the outer corner and blending that. Um, into my outer portion of my crease and also under my lower lash line. Then I'm also packing that more intensely on my outer V just to intensify and define that area more. Then I'm taking the shade I'm Cold and I'm just blending everything out in my crease with that and again that's just going to help everything pull a more periwinkle color and I'm blending that underneath my lower lash line then I'm taking the shade Cullinan and I'm going to pack that over my eyelid um, everywhere except where I have the Blue Monday shade and I'm also placing it on my inner corner then I'm taking the shade Ice Tray and I'm going to place this right in between Cullinan and Blue Monday on my lid. 
and also underneath my lower lash line just in the center underneath my pupil then this is completely optional but I'm taking a Stila glitter in the shade Perlina and I'm packing that all over my lid and also in my inner corner and then I'm taking the Milk Makeup Eyeliner in the shade PTO and using that in my waterline. And then the ColourPop Mascara that's purple and then also the Collab Beauty Mascara. Then I'm using the MAC Lip Gloss in Party Sparkle. Just something that is soft and would match the eye look. And I really like this look and it really reminds me of Luna Lovegood. It's very unique. Look number five is inspired by scenery from New Zealand. I'm first dipping into the shade Power and I'm placing that above my crease. This is to represent the mountains in the picture. And I'm just working this slightly above my crease and just focusing on kind of laying down that color and intensifying that. Then I'm going into the shade I'm Cold and I'm blending that above the shade that I just put down to represent the mountains and up to my brow. Um, this represents the sky in the picture. I'm going back into the shade power and I'm just deepening up that shade that I put um, into my crease and above. Um, I'm just trying to intensify that a little more. I'm going into the shade flourishing now and putting that on my the outer portion of my lid. This is to represent the greenery um, in the picture and I'm also taking that a little bit below my lower lash line just on the outer portion. I'm going into the shade Blue Monday and I'm also taking that underneath my lower lash line. This was an attempt to represent the flowers in the picture. It didn't show up as intensely as I hoped for but I still like how it turned out in the end. Now I'm taking the shade Ice Tray and I'm putting that on my lid from the center of my lid to my inner corner and this is to represent the water in the picture I'm also putting that on my inner corner I'm also taking the shade Cullinan and I'm tapping that right over the center of my lid um, right above my pupil and then I'm taking the shade Flourishing again and I'm just deepening up um, in my outer V um, just to make that more intense then I'm taking the shade Entitled and I'm just adding that in just for a little bit extra sparkle. Um, I'm taking the Velour Liquid Lipstick by Jeffree Star and Sardetarius and the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. And this is how it turned out. I really like how it turned out and I just love creating looks inspired by scenery and this one was really fun to create. Look number six is a recreation of a look by Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. I will link her channel down below. She has really inspired me to start playing with color more. She's so talented. I love her channel so much. I definitely recommend checking out her channel, but I wanted to recreate this look that she created in her Jeffree Star 10 Looks 1 palette because I loved it so much. So I'm using the shade Untouchable, and I'm placing that into my inner portion of my crease. Then I'm taking the shade Blue Monday and I'm placing that right next to the pink shade that I just laid down in the middle of my crease, so the center of my crease. Then I'm taking the shade Flourishing and I'm putting that on the outer portion of my crease, focusing on just blending everything but trying not to make it look muddy. And then I'm taking that underneath my lower lash line on the outer portion. I'm taking the shade Cremated and putting that on the outer portion of my lid. Then I'm taking the shade Blue Monday again and taking that underneath my lower lash line um, under the middle portion. I'm now cutting my crease using the short Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just like in the look um, previously. And then I'm taking the shade Deceased and placing that right next to the gray shade that I put in my outer corner. And I'm just focusing on blending that to the center of my lid. Then taking the shade Cullinan and I'm placing that in the inner portion of my lid and also in my inner corner. And I'm just focusing on blending that out. 
Um, I took a ColourPop liner, but it didn't really show up as intensely as I wanted, so I took the Urban Decay Liner Junkie again, um, and I stabbed myself in the eye when I was applying my mascara at this point, so yeah, just be careful when you're applying your mascara. Um, and there we go again. I stabbed myself again. So now I'm taking the shade Scandal from Jeffree Star, um, and it turned out a little too pink in my opinion, um, so I went into Sagittarius again. I'm calling this next look Cotton Candy Eyes because that's just what it reminds me of. I'm mixing the shades Blue Monday and Blue Blood, and I'm placing that into my crease. And just really fluffing that out and blending it out toward my brow. I'm taking the shade Blue Monday and I'm running that across my lid but just on near my lash line on the outer portion. And just kind of buffing that back into the crease again. And also taking that underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm taking the shade Untouchable and I'm placing that over top of the Blue Monday shade that I just put down just to give a little more warmth there. Um, so I'm placing, I placed that over the um, top lash line and then also um, in the transition shade area just to blend out the crease really well. Then I'm taking the shade Crystal Flush and I'm spraying my brush just to make it more intense. And I'm placing this all over my lid. Now I'm taking the shade Cullinan and I'm just applying that to my inner corner. Just to, so that when the light catches it just gives a really beautiful look. And then I'm taking the shade PTO again from Milk Makeup and the purple mascara from ColourPop. And I use the shade Party Sparkle from MAC. Look number 8 is inspired by a flounder from The Little Mermaid. I'm first dipping into the shade Deceased and I'm packing this all over my lid and just slightly into my crease. And I'm just making sure to pack it pretty intensely on my lid because that is going to be the main color on my lid. But I will be adding more colors to my crease. So now I'm taking the shade Blue Blood and I'm placing that into my crease and just blending that over the deceased shade that I put down and also underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm taking the shade I'm Cold and I'm buffing everything out with that. So above the shade that I just put into my crease, I'm buffing I'm Cold. And now I'm taking Minty and I'm taking that all the way up to my brow bone. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is blended very seamlessly. Now I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a very small brush to create a wing with the concealer that I'm going to put a yellow shade over. So I am using a lip brush that I never used before um, and so I thought this would be the perfect um, opportunity to use this for such something with a lot of precision. So then I'm taking the ColourPop BFF Mascara in this yellow shade and I'm placing it over top of the concealer that I put down to create the wing. And that concealer just helps the yellow pop more on top of it. Then I'm taking the ColourPop Gel Liner in Punch, which is a yellow shade, and putting that into my waterline. Then I'm taking the shade Crystal Flesh and I'm placing that into my inner corner just to add more brightness and light there. Then I'm using the Collab Beauty Mascara and I use the ColourPop Disney Designer Aerial Collection, the lipstick and the lip gloss and I love how it turned out. This next look is inspired by lyrics from a song. This is inspired by a song by Alan Walker called Faded and it's from the lyrics these shallow waters never met what I needed. I'm letting go a deeper dive. And those lyrics just really speak to me. And I felt really inspired to create a look um, based on or a look inspired by these lyrics.
I'm first dipping into the shade Undertaker and I'm packing this on the outer portion of my crease and lid, focusing mostly on my lid but also bringing it up into my crease. And then I'm taking the shade Cremated and I'm blending that on my crease next to the Undertaker shade that I just put down, so in the middle portion of my crease. Then I'm taking Deceased and I'm adding that next to the shade that I just put down going toward the inner portion of my crease and also bringing that down onto my eyelid. Then I'm taking the shade Blue Blood and I'm adding that again next to that shade I just laid down and pulling it even more toward the inner portion of my crease and also pulling that also on my eyelid. Then I'm taking the shade I'm Cold and I'm Blending that over top of the blue blood shade that I just put down and also putting it on my inner corner. And I'm also using that to blend everything in my crease. I'm going back into the shade Deceased and I'm blending that on my lid next to the darkest shade. Then I'm taking the shade Ocean Ice and I'm packing that right next to Undertaker, the darkest shade on my lid. And just making sure that that is well blended. Taking the shade Undertaker again and I'm buffing that underneath my lower lash line just on the outer fourth. And then I'm taking the shade Ice Tray and putting that underneath my lower lash line on the first half. Then I'm taking the shade Colonin and I'm putting that in my inner corner and also I'm going to take that and put it on my crease just above my pupil to add some light there. Then I'm taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Liner in Junkie and Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And I'm taking the Sagittarius Liquid Lipstick again. I know I've used it so many times but it goes with all of these blue uh, cool tone looks so well and I just love this lipstick. And then I'm taking the bullet lipstick from Jeffree Star and Popsicle Dream and placing that over the center. Then I'm going into this Pat McGrath highlighting palette and taking the bluish shade and I'm adding some highlight to my cheekbones and um, down the center of my nose. And I felt like adding the Stila glitter would take things kind of to the next level so I'm adding the Stila glitter and Perlina to my inner corner and also just over top in the center of my lid just to bring more light there and then I'm just making sure that everything is blended in my crease and I like how this turned out but I wish that I had blended the darkest shade out more um uh yeah I learned from that mistake in this look for look number 10 I tried to use as many colors as possible and so I first dipped into the shade priceless and I put that as a transition shade and this is going to help kind of make everything else look a little more muted on top. I'm putting the shade Blue Monday and I'm putting that in my outer V and also in the outer portion of my crease. And again, because that orange shade is there, it's going to kind of give it a little bit more of a muted effect so it won't be as intense of a color. So then I'm taking the shade Blue Blood and I'm putting that in the center of my crease area and just making sure that's well blended into the Blue Monday shade. I'm going into the shade I'm Cold and I'm going to blend that right next to Blue Blood into the inner portion of my crease. Then I'm taking the shade Minty and I'm going to blend that over top of the Blue Blood shade right in the inner portion of my crease to make it even more light and bright there. Then I'm taking the shade Power and I'm adding that to the outer portion of my lid, so sort of the outer corner of my lid, and it's defining that area there with the gray shade Power. Then I'm taking the shade Ocean Ice and I'm placing that right next to the shade Power on my lid. Next, taking the shade Ice Tray and I'm placing that right next to Ocean Ice on my lid. 
Next, I'm taking the shade Entitled and I'm placing that right next to Ice Tray and packing that over the, re the remainder of my lid space. And then I'm adding the shade Cullinan to my inner corner. And I'm lining my eyes with some liquid liner and adding Collab Beauty Mascara. Taking Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade um, Celebrity Skin. And then I'm taking the uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Mannequin and just putting that right over the center. And I do really like how this turned out. I tried to use as many colors as possible in this look. Thank you so much for watching my 10 looks, one palette with the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. I really hope you enjoyed all the looks. Please let me know what your favorite look was down below. And if you, if you enjoyed this video, it would mean so much to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, again, my name is Ashley and I'm a chemist and I wanted to create this channel to bridge my passions of um, cosmetics and chemistry. And um, I have some videos like this where I just create looks um, based on things that inspire me from nature, movies, scenery, songs, etc. And I also have some um, videos where I explain the ingredients in cosmetics based on my knowledge and understanding of the chemistry underlying these ingredients. So it would really mean so much to me if you would subscribe and I'd love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.